These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, uh, what's up everybody? It's Grim Green back here, and today we're gonna be talking about possible ocular damage from vaping. You know, I wear glasses, so ooh, could be from vaping. You might have seen some headlines like this or like these circulating around implying that nicotine vape users and cigarette smokers both have a higher likelihood of adverse ocular symptoms, blurry vision, bad vision, burning discomfort, and the such as. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association does not really hold up to scrutiny, and all anyone has to do to realize this is to read the study and to think critically. As always, let me say that I am not a doctor and I am not a scientist. I'm just here to debunk some misinformation. I rely on experts much smarter than myself to do that. So this study was conducted in 2020, three years ago, and surveyed adolescents and young adults age 13 to 24. Researchers were attempting to understand the extent of ocular symptoms reported by those using e-cigarettes, regular cigarettes, or both. Now, we're going to hear a, a lot about dual use, which is I have pointed out on YouTube already is a, is a pretty useless comparison. If someone is dual using, they're still smoking cigarettes and therefore still incurring the harm from smoking said cigarettes. People who juggle running chainsaws are still as much of a risk of harm as someone who juggles both running chainsaws and apples. If a chainsaw juggler loses a hand, chances are it was from the chainsaw and not the apples. 4,351 participants were part of this study with an average age of about 19 years old. Over half had used e-cigarettes and about 36% of those had smoked at least once in their life. Interestingly, they say nearly 56% of all e-cigarette users also smoked regular cigarettes. Again, I'm gonna link my dual use video below, but the dual use aspect of this study is pretty useless. Smoking cigarettes and doing anything will cause the harm, the same harms from smoking cigarettes. So this is a self-reported study. It's basically a cross-sectional survey. This isn't like hard epidemiological science with vapor and petri dishes and e-liquid and eyeballs or, or anything like that. The participants were asked to rate their eyesight with good and excellent being the most common responses given in the survey. <laughs> but here's the thing. Those who used regular cigarettes at least once were more likely to experience severe ocular burning, blurry vision. Similar symptoms were also observed in participants who had used e-cigarettes and cigarettes. Juggling running chainsaws is as risky as juggling running chainsaws and apples. The study also found that people who had used cigarettes within the last 30 days were more likely to have severe blurry vision. Those who had used both e-cigarettes and cigarettes in the past 30 days reported things like discomfort, burning, redness, headaches, and tiredness. The harm that the study participants are reporting is coming directly from smoking cigarettes. So far, all this study has found is that smoking cigarettes is bad for your eyes and vision, which we were already well aware of. The study also points out that it's not about whether you've just used these products, but how often the more frequent use, the higher the likelihood of experiencing these ocular symptoms. The more often someone juggles running chainsaws, the higher the likelihood that they will experience an injury. The study itself points out that there are severe limitations to it. It couldn't establish causation, meaning they actually have no idea if smoking or vaping caused any of these ocular issues. They point out that self-reported data can have some pretty intense biases. What the study ultimately found was that people who smoke cigarettes and people who smoke cigarettes and vape are more likely to self-report ocular issues. People who juggle running chainsaws and people who juggle running chainsaws and apples are more likely to report an injury from chainsaws. But what about just vaping? What about just e-cigarette use without any combustible cigarettes involved? Well, the study says no association with e-cigarette use alone for any outcome, meaning 
exclusive vapors, non-cigarette smoking vapors had no association with any adverse ocular outcomes, no association for adverse health outcomes when juggling apples alone, but you still shouldn't juggle apples because juggling apples leads to juggling chainsaws and juggling chainsaws is clearly very dangerous. The media seems to want to paint this study as a, a warning against vaping, but all this study really does is prove the harm reduction benefits of switching from smoking cigarettes to a nicotine vape. Did any journalist reporting on this actually read the study? Because a better headline that might have actually helped public health and been much more accurate probably would have said, switching completely from combustible cigarettes to a nicotine vape drastically reduces the chance of severe adverse ocular issues. But that would require legacy media and the tobacco control mafia to be truthful for once. And look, I can forgive misinterpreting the data. These things happen, but this isn't that. This is deliberately sowing doubt about e-cigs despite the study itself showing the harm reduction benefits of switching. They're attempting to attribute harms from combustible tobacco cigarettes to the use of e-cigarettes. This is a, a, a pretty tried and true tobacco control tactic, and its only purpose is to keep people who smoke cigarettes smoking cigarettes. So that, as they say, is what I've got for today. If you like what you see here, drop a like on this video and destroy that subscribe button because there is a lot of tobacco misinformation out there to be corrected. And I'm kind of just getting started. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's do our eyeballs a favor and stay cigarette smoke free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.